Hey everyone and welcome back. So I have a couple news updates as we uh, get closer to Black Friday. There's a couple of Black Friday announcements and also some pre-orders that have come up for next year. So we got a lot of stuff to look forward to already. So from Screen Factory, uh, coming January 11th, as I mentioned previously, they're releasing the movie The Temp and they did announce the extras. Uh, it does have some new interviews, including a new interview with director Tom Holland called Head Office. Next up is Office Gossip, an interview with actress Lynn in Shay. Temp Effects, an interview with special effects artist Steve Johnson. Office Politics, an interview with editor Scott Conrad. And then the theatrical trailer. And again, that is coming January 11th. And also coming that day, we actually have a couple uh, new titles coming from uh, Kino, who uh, are releasing more titles in association with uh, Scorpion releasing in Code Red. So first up, the one uh, in association with Code Red is the movie Almost Summer from 1978. And that is getting a brand new 2K Master, and it's going to have an interview with actress Lee Purcell, as well as the theatrical trailer. So again, it's nice to know Code Red is still around, and I'm actually kind of happy that they did sort of link up with Kino, because I think uh, not only are they doing some of the re-releases of stuff that was think it was hard to get before but uh you know keeps that label kind of you know around and um and also it's a little bit easier to get some of the titles as well next one from kino in association with scorpion releasing is a re-release of the movie the mafu cage also from 1978 and it looks like it's porting over all the extras from before and now that one came out a couple years ago but again i think it was only available pretty limited so it's nice to know again with kino stuff that it's going to be easier to find you're going to get it through amazon and places like that. And then the other one coming from Scorpion releasing in Kino, uh, which again was uh, previously released, but I think it was maybe strictly limited to uh, Ronin Flicks at the time. So now it's getting a bit of a broader release. And that is the Dario Argento film, The Card Player. And I actually missed out on that release before. So I'm actually looking forward to picking this one up. And it looks like it's uh, porting over, I think all the extras from the previous release as well, including a uh, commentary track with film historians, Troy Howarth, Nathaniel Thompson, interview with Dario Argento, an interview with screenwriter Franco Farini, interview with set designer and Antonello Galeng. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Interview with actress Fiore Argento and trailers, and we'll have a slipcase as well, which might be limited to the first run. And again, all three are coming January 11th. Next up, Cauldron Films, which is uh, the label that uh, is owned or co-owned by uh, Diabolic DVD, has announced two new titles coming out next March. First up is the Spanish film Murder in a Blue World, and that is going to get a new 2K restoration uh, of the Spanish producers cut from the negative. It's going to have both English audio and Spanish audio. We'll have a new edited archival interview with Chris Mitchum, dubbing in a blue world, as well as a video essay by film scholar Dr. Xavier Aldana Reyes, and commentary by film historian Kat Ellinger, as well as an image gallery and a 24 page booklet. And the other release coming out from them, which I'm very excited for, and it comes uh, in two different covers, depending on which you want to get, is the Lucio Fulci film Contraband. And and this is getting a new 4K restoration uh, from the negative. It's going to have the English language and the Italian language. It's also going to have a brand new interview with writer Giorgio Marizuto. Mariuzo. Oh no, not more names. <laughs> oh boy, maybe I should skip names. New interview with actress Ivana Monti. Interview with actor Saverio Marconi. I think at least I got the last name right. Interview with actor Fabrizio Chauvin. Interview with actor Venentino Venentini. Interview with cinematographer Sergio Salvati. Interview with composer Fabio Frizi, who I love. As well as a new audio commentary by film historian Troy Howarth, Nathaniel Thompson, and Bruce Holchek. Plus an image gallery and trailers. It's going to also have uh, mini lobby card reproductions. As well as the CD soundtrack, which I always love when they do that. And again, this is going to have actually two different colors covers uh one is going to have the original uh italian artwork and the other one is going to have this alternate uh version which you can see here very excited for this release this is one of uh full cheese more sort of action espionage type films already got my pre-order in and again uh both of these titles are due out next march but they are up for pre-order right now over a diabolic dvd and then finally severin has announced two more titles in their upcoming black friday sale and uh it's two by ruggiero diodato which 
which I am very excited because one of these especially I've been waiting on a really uh, on a new release of it was released uh, previously on Blu-ray but this is uh anyway I'll get to that one in a moment so first up is Ballad of Blood from uh 2016 which is actually a more recent Diodato film and that's coming with a couple of extras including uh The Day After an interview with writer-director Ruggiero Diodato Midnight Mass Hysteria an interview with Nina Brule author of New York Times bestseller The Fatal Gift of Beauty it happened in Perugia Interview with film historian Fabio Melelli, another name I hope I'm pronouncing right. Things to do in Perugia when you're dead. Am I even pronouncing the country right? Oh, good lord. An interview with actress Naomi Zamora. Maybe I got that right. A maestro at work. Interview with executive producer Rafael Mertes. Behind the scenes and trailers. And then the other one coming out uh, is the one I'm super excited for. Probably my most excited one from uh, the Severn titles coming out. And that is The House on the Edge of the Park. Which is also a Diodato film from 1980. And that's actually getting a brand new, I think it's a three disc set. It's got a new transfer from the original negative. And disc one, which will obviously have the uncut version of the film. It's going to have an audio commentary trailer track by Bruce Holacek and Art Edinger, plus a couple of interviews including The Man Who Loved Women, interview with director Ruggiero Deodato, Lights On, interview with cinematographer Sergio Deofzi, Deofzi, should I just skip names today? Like a Prairie Dog, interview with actor Giovanna Lombardo Radice, aka John Morgan, External Beauty and Internal Ugliness, archival interview with David Hess, House Sweet House, interview with set designer and Antonello Galeng, as well as a poster lobby card gallery. So already I'd be excited, but there's still two more discs in the set. And disc two, which uh, I'm really looking forward to as well, is Diodato Holocaust, a feature-length documentary by Philip M. Guero that explores the film-by-film triumphs, tragedies, and controversy cr- controversies of Rogero Diodato. I am so excited to check that out, because Diodato had quite a career. And the third disc in the set is the original soundtrack on CD which again I'm so happy they're including and also going to be available that weekend which I think may be only available that weekend is a, a reprint of the film Cannibal Holocaust and the Savage Cinema of Ruggiero Deodato from Fab Press. They're only going to have a thousand copies but it is going to be autographed which I think is super cool. Now Severin are going to have a couple bundles and I will cover that in uh, another video because I know they're going to be a bundle that's going to have like everything that they're releasing that day and then there's going to be one I think they'll just have the movies and then a couple other bundles um with some of the other ones including one that'll just have the diodato stuff so for example you get house on the edge of the park ballad of blood and the book as well as an enamel pin so that's pretty cool and actually that's that's limited to 500 so and that includes the book so if you want to get the book separately, I think they're only going to have like 500 additional ones if you're not getting the fun. I don't know. I'll get into that Black Friday stuff in another video, but I did want to cover uh, at least some of this stuff today. Super excited for House on the Edge of the Park. So that's it for this quick update. I know I got a lot more to get to, especially before it uh, next weekend. So definitely let me know your thoughts. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.